I want that one right there. Because <laughs> we totally drink. <laughs> what do we be for Halloween, guys? Pumpkin chai. Uh, I already chugged mine. I can't wait to lick all the foam off. Gun. Lulu. Lulu. This is all brand new since my birthday. Lulu. Is it spooky in there? No, wait, look at the Barbie box. Again. <laughs> Guys, I found it. This, this is this is my costume. I want to do the Krusty yeah. Krab. Hey, hot Cheeto girl. Well, this is like tight. Always. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. I think is it meant for a little kid? Is that why? I don't know. <laughs> so I just woke up. It's 2 p.m. For the past six months, I have been struggling, struggling with. Mysterious stomach issues. Like two months ago, I got a colonoscopy. I got diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Whenever I eat, I'm in severe pain. Just nothing sits right with me. Like sometimes it's really bad. Sometimes I can tolerate it. I have to be careful of what I eat. So I'm gonna show you what I eat when I'm in a flare. I'm not gonna lie though. I I still eat whatever I want. Like I'm on my period right now. Last night I was craving chocolate, so I was eating chocolate. So basically I need to limit dairy, fat, fiber, sugar, just like spicy foods, anything that's hard to digest. I just need to limit it. For a while when I didn't have a diagnosis, I just got rid of everything. I obviously don't drink alcohol. I've been drinking alcohol in like four or five months. There was a while where I didn't drink any coffee. I didn't drink caffeine at all. I wouldn't have sugar. I wouldn't have dairy at all. I do think at one point I did kind of have an eating disorder. I think I developed like a fear of food just because it caused me so much pain that I was just scared to eat. The pain I experienced when this first started happening was by far the worst pain I've ever had in my entire life. I would rate it probably eight and a half out of 10. I almost um, passed out because the pain was so bad. I would drink water and I would eat applesauce and that would literally be it. I don't think that was healthy. I was losing weight. I was like really insecure. Honestly doing really healthy at the start of the year. I was working out, I was eating super healthy and then I got sick and I couldn't like eat healthy foods. Like some of the foods I can't eat are like vegetables. They're hard to digest. It was just frustrating. Like I never realized how much I took for granted eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And like, you don't realize how much food controls your whole life and how much it like can affect your mental health, like what you eat and stuff. Sometimes the pain is so bad, literally nothing helps, but Tylenol, helps with cramps. I can't take ibuprofen because that can actually have worse effects on my stomach. This is like a really strong pain killer. It's called Dicyclomene. I don't like taking it because it like blurs my vision, makes me very lightheaded. I rarely take that unless the pain is like so bad. This is Zorfram for um, vomiting. My doctor actually recommended greens. She obviously didn't recommend this brand, but she just like recommended greens in general. I feel like I always see bloom all over TikTok, but people always say it like tastes awful and people say Kiala tastes a lot better. Bloating, immunity, energy, and digestion, like gut health. This is not sponsored. I promise it's not sponsored. I want to give you guys like an honest review. This was also um, $40. It doesn't look amazing. I mixed it pretty well, so. Okay, it's not bad. The aftertaste is actually kind of very. Okay, it's not bad. I'll drink that every day. I'll let you guys know if it does anything. I just don't know if it's worth $40. I'd say 30, but 40 is kind of pushing it. Okay, so next I take these, not every morning because it kind of sucks to take them. Digestion, immunity, like wellness shots. They have ginger and turmeric in them, which is supposed to be like really good for like anti-inflammatory properties. I think these are helping, like actually. If I just get them at the store, they're like 50 cents each or something like that. They're really not that bad. If I take it really fast, it'll just come back up, so. Cheers. This was good. This was a good chaser. Unmixes very fast, which is so weird because I bought that little thing just for this and it like doesn't work. 
Oh, I also need to take my meds for the day. Yep, this is my morning meds. Um, that's a whole different video. For breakfast, I'll usually have a banana just because it's a part of the brat diet, which is bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. I used to be on the brat diet for like two months. Sometimes go back to the brat diet when I notice that my stomach is having like a hard time with literally anything. Like sometimes I'll drink water and my stomach is unhappy with me. Anyone who knows me knows I eat applesauce religiously, especially when I'm in a flare. It has to be unsweet applesauce though because it doesn't have any added sugar. I have applesauce on hand always. When I was on the brat diet for two months, and I would go out with friends and they would have like hamburgers or pizza or whatever. I would just have these in like my little Lulu bag and I would just pull it out. And I remember I was at a party and one girl was like, they have applesauce here? And I was like, no, I brought this myself. Got to mention peppermint tea is really good for like inflammatory on the stomach. That has really been helping me. It's caffeine free, so it won't like keep me up at night. I also eat a lot of soup when I'm in a flare, um, a lot of carbs, just like a lot of chill stuff. Also with ulcerative colitis, you get dehydrated really easily when you're like throwing up, having diarrhea, just constantly. So I drink liquid IV and my favorite flavor is passion fruit and you need to stay hydrated to like stay healthy and fight whatever it is that's going on in your stomach. Okay, time for some actual food because I promise I don't starve myself anymore. There's this like juice bar by my house and they have this thing, it's called the Beauty Greens at Ivy Juice Bar if you're in Orem. When I was in a flare really bad, I was like in and out of the hospital. It was like the only thing that like sat right with me, but it's obviously expensive. So now I just make it for myself at home. So I just like freeze these little bags. I take a whole banana and I freeze it with just like a huge handful of spinach. I just use a whole avocado. Recently started trying this dairy-free yogurt. Sometimes I'll eat this with like some granola and bananas and like honey and it's like my new favorite thing. I love this. I love this so much. I could eat this all day long and it's not gonna upset my stomach. It tastes like almost identical to the one I got at the juice bar. Fun fact, ulcerative colitis actually runs in my family. That's kind of how I have it. It's just genetic. I got the stomach flu twice in the span of like a month and a half. And that's kind of what triggered it. The same thing happened to my older sister when she was my age. She also got diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. And then my grandma also had it. Just to give you guys a reference of how long I've been dealing with this for, I started to notice this issue around Cinco de Mayo and I was hospitalized around Cinco de Mayo. Um, Halloween is in two weeks, so. I actually have another doctor's appointment. I think I'm having ulcers, not only in my colon, but in my stomach too. Like 10 to 15 minutes after I eat, sometimes I'll have like super sharp pains up here, like almost like in my ribs. So I think there's something also going on in my stomach. For a while, we were scared that I had Crohn's disease but I've been tested for like celiac, lactose, it's none of that. Thank you so much for watching. I know a lot of you probably don't really care about this. Like I said, this has been my life for the past like six and a half months. I'm gonna go chug this. See you later.